Hey, y'all, I'm late. I know, I'm sorry. It's it's really been crazy. It's really been crazy. Like, my son's in the Army. But that's it. Move on. We're going to have to keep pushing on Um, because I got to give you what you asked for. So, I'm going to go through the couples. Try to go through kind of quickly because I don't want to hold y'all up. Don't let me hold you up. Heather and Dylan. Heather is crazy. We know she's crazy. She's a weird bird. She's insane. She has lost her mind. Her confessional look versus her regular look is two different people. Like all that makeup she puts on and that's, it's just, it's bad. They talk about, Heather says, um, um, you know, we finally had sex last night and um, he could have done better. And he says, if crazy equates to good sex, then I'm okay with it. Whatever. They have to go to the DMV because Dylan has to get his license or his ID. Heather's taking forever. She's putting on stiletto heels. She's um, putting this makeup on her face. She's swooping her hair back. She's like, she's doing a lot. And he's like, we got to go. We got to go. And we all know the DMV is not the place to be late. DMV is not the place to think you have all this time in the world. So he's like, I'm not going to say anything. But I know how she's going to get. So um, they get to the DMV and they're like, she goes, hi, we're here. He was in jail and he, they didn't need to know all that. All they asked, what you here for? So she says, um, he has to get his ID. And they, then somebody comes out, no more testing, no more this, no more that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. So the producers are like, oh, so what happened? And he tells, he goes, well, we, you know, we were late because somebody was doing their makeup. And she goes, I hate when you do that. And then she starts getting all crazy and she walks off and then she gets to the car. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. So whatever. Poor Dylan. Uh, Chevelle and Quaylen. He's leaving to go to Texas. Chevelle is walking around the house moping like, oh, you going to leave me and my yellow? What about us? And. Bitch, you should have knew better. You don't bring no man out of jail, fresh out, telling your daughter this is her new daddy, and you don't know if he's going to stick around for you. But you're going to have her around him. That's your fault. She, I don't know what is not clicking. He was 17 years old when he went in. He did 12 years. His mind stopped growing at, at 17. He doesn't know what life is. He doesn't know how to operate in a normal world as normal people do and would. Stop it. Stop it. So he's like, oh, and then he's like, well, I got to go. I promised my mama. I promised my sister I'm coming back. I'm going back, and that's what it is. Excuse me, the, cab the cab's here. Like, I'm leaving. I'm still going. And she's like, oh, well, I don't think you're going to come back. What about us? What about this? And he's just like, like, what did you want him to do? If he would have bought a return ticket, would you have felt better and got off his back? And then he would have changed his mind and said, I'm staying a little bit longer, and you still would have been mad? Like, he hasn't seen his family in 12 years like, stop. And then he gets to Texas and his mom got a new wig on, girl. It's cocked to the side. And she got no, um, she got that good part right there. And he goes to me, his other sister with a, with a Q as well. I don't know the other one name. And they go, his mom takes him to the barbershop talking about wanting you to meet my friend. And come to find out it's for a job. He's like, well, I could do that on the side, but I want to um, make music. You want to what? You fresh out, this man's telling you at the barbershop, you know, I don't I don't judge you on on what you did. I judge you on what you do. When you move wrong, then I'ma feel wrong, which is understandable and logical. So it's like you um need to be thankful that somebody's offering you a job fresh out. So he gets back to the house and his sister's like, I got some friends I can introduce you to. Um, they single and his mom is like, yeah, keep your options open. Give him a minute to breathe. He ain't been out two strong weeks. You're trying to get him with somebody else, get him laid up, get him a job, get him out of Chevelle's place. He's It's too much going on for him right now. So he's getting his hair retwisted and the girls, oh, who did your hair when you was in? He was like, oh, I did. I used that royal crown. I said, good old grease. Yeah, black people know what I'm talking about, about the royal, um, the royal crown. I mean, sorry, it's a royal, yeah, royal crown, Greece. Um, and I'm like, you did all that in jail by yourself? You sure nobody else did, did that for you? Because I feel like people in jail do here. But maybe he had nothing but time to learn. So, hey. Um, but he needs to understand 
his mom is trying to get him a job for however long he's going to be in uh, Texas or in St. Louis, wherever they at, trying to get him a job because you don't have the luxury to say, I don't want to do this full time because I want to do music. You don't have no producers calling you. I ain't heard nothing you did. You ain't even trying to bust out no bars when you fresh out. Like, come on, if you're going to try to put yourself out there, put yourself all the way out there. I need you to be rapping a Chevelle so somebody can hear you. Like, but you ain't did none of that yet. And now, without a job, every day, ma, sister, Chevelle, you don't keep having your hand up because you can't afford to work. I mean, to not work. You can't afford to just be chilling. But whatever. Um, so then we have Jessica and ghetto ass Maurice. Maurice works my nerve. I feel like in jail, he was that guy that was always doing the most. I don't, I kind of fast forward because he's always here, 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 there. Like he's like, on, he has ADHD. Like, yeah, we go, they went to the chapel. Let me, sorry, I got wound up real quick. They go to the chapel for a wedding ceremony because he said in jail, they had a wax ceremony. It was like, do you, do you, you married. Boom. So fine. They went to this uh, chapel, which chapel hall, I'll say. And each chapel had a different setup, different looks. And they were all very, very nice. I mean, it was really, really, really nice of the options they had for the rooms. So there was one room that was like diamonds and pearls and it had like a nice little skylight. And then he goes, oh, yeah, because I'm in jail. And in jail, we wasn't like that. And I'm from the hood. And in the hood, my mom be like, hey, boy, do your thing. And then my auntie be like, yeah, you go, boy. Why we have to go through the antics? You, It's just... Then he proposes to Jessica with this new rainbow diamond ring. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, moving on. Sean and Destiny. Destiny gets out of out of court. And the DA said he's going to refile the charges. And she's looking at mandatory seven years. And she's all mad. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? How is this really happening? They only give me a chance. I mean, this is... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this don't make no sense. Why I got to do this time? Bitch, because you mailed your ankle uh, monitor back. And was like, I don't listen to nobody. Well, guess what? Guess what, sugar snap? You got to listen to somebody now because you got strong seven years. So you did it, pay the consequence. Had you not mailed it back to them, you wouldn't be in this position. So um, Sean's like, baby, it's okay. I love you. And well, can't they give you like double jeopardy? No, man. Mailing the ankle monitor and how being with, with drugs, how is it double jeopardy? Shut up. And she's like, I know you're not going to wait for me. I'm keeping it real. This is what I know. Don't try to sugarcoat it for me. And she's going on and on and on and on. He's like, no, I love you. I came this far. I knew what it was. I knew my chance. I'm going to still be with you. Okay. He brings uh, a ring out. So his sister, her sister and her uh, mom, they see how beautiful it is. I'm like, well, she could wear it for what, a week, two weeks? And then she going back to jail? Christiana and John, um, after he picked that up from the shopping center, they get back to the house. She's upset. The mom and sister are upset. And they're like, can we get in trouble for being here because she's here? And then he's like, well, yeah, I'm a felon too. And this could be like harboring a fugitive. And they're like, oh, because then we shouldn't be here. She goes in the bathroom, starts crying. Here comes her sister. Oh, it's okay. It's not because she going to jail. But it's not fair because I feel like she would have had a chance if she wasn't put in a position to be in a halfway house where it's known that there are drugs and everything else that are sold and given and taken and no one does anything about that. It's not, like you can't put a felon in the same position they was in and say, live, be strong. They've been locked up. To, so how would they like, okay, but she's going to go to jail. She has a warrant out. Then you have Tyrese and Shonda, but, but not Shonda. We got Tracy. Tyrese and Tracy. Tracy has a strong face. She has a strong jawline. Like, she looked like she could be, how you doing? How you doing? She could be both. She's transgender, transvestite. She got this black lip liner. And Tyrese said she got a big old ass. And he met her at a gallery. And they're at a restaurant. Now, Tyrese, cat daddy, I need you to stop with this toothpick in your mouth. They're at a seemingly nice restaurant. He has a glass of wine. Toothpick is in a corner in his mouth right here. And he's drinking the wine with the toothpick in your mouth. Take it out, wrap it in a napkin, put it down, or throw the shit out altogether. 
you were at the dinner table and you swirling around this toothpick like it's your teeth. So she's like, oh, you worried about Trace, uh, Shauna calling you? He's like, no, I ain't worried about her calling me. She was young and I ain't know no better. And yada, 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 yada. And um, she was young and immature. You're more mature. He said, I'm going to tear this chicken up. And after that, you know what? I'm going to I'm I'm tear up next. And he's swirling the fucking toothpick. Take the toothpick out of your mouth when you're eating and drinking. Why is that hard, cat daddy? Ooh, child. I'm exhausted, but that's Life of the Lockup, Season 3, Episode 16. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.